With High Stakes 2 coming up, I figured it would be the perfect time to talk about Hall of the Don vs. Loaded Lux, which happened at the first High Stakes event. This is arguably, and to many, one of the best battles of all time, as well as one of the most anticipated battles of all time. Y'all know this true. So in this video, I have 10 different facts that you probably didn't know about Hall of the Don vs. Loaded Lux. First, we all know Loaded Lux's theme for his battle, which was the Black Panthers. Not only was this extremely effective, but this was extremely iconic, and it's a big theme of the battle from Loaded Lux's end. The theme was also subject to rebuttals from Hall of the Don. I said, damn, taking all that time, you didn't hurt these fans. I guess it'd take a while to put on that Hell's Angels jacket and them Eddie Murphy pants. But what a lot of people don't know is that Hall of the Don did a little bit more strategic work than just that in this respect. So the story goes that Hall of the Don heard that Loaded Lux was out there and dressed up as Black Panthers and had a really big theme coming up. So in Hollow's mind, he thought, well, he's going to use this as a big introduction, like a WCW style introduction where you walk in and do that. I mean, if you imagine it, he would be walking in and they'd be holding the guns in the air, etc, etc. So what Hall of the Don did was he actually walked in with Loaded Lux and his crew to basically sabotage the introduction. And coming up second is one of the iconic lines from this battle. Just because you don't understand him doesn't mean that he's nice. Because you don't understand him, it don't mean that he's nice. Hall of the Don says this in his second round. Now you know, when I heard this, I thought that was amazing, but what I didn't realize was that this was actually said by Jay-Z first. Jay-Z said this in his 2002 song, Blueprint 2, and this was in reference to Nas, who he was currently in a beef with at the time. Coming up for number three, we have celebrities who were on stage. Now a lot of us, I, I think pretty much everybody has seen the battle and saw Raw Digga there. You know, I remember watching and thinking that might be her, and then someone confirming it. But somebody I didn't notice in the background was Papoose. Papoose was there. If you look, he's right here. Coming up as the fourth thing, I have Hollow Don's first round. Pop with the last shot in the head, drop to you dead. You like to talk about calico pops in the feds? Even that rhymes with hospital bed. Hold on. Why you didn't just freestyle off the top? Hold on, I got one more. He ends his first round with even that rhymes with hospital bed. Why didn't you dust? And then he gets cut off. Obviously, he was going to say, why didn't you just freestyle off the top of the head, right? But he actually did a full reenactment of his first round, including what comes after that with Focus Frame Films. Man, <laughs> I got an idea. Why you didn't just freestyle off the top of your head? Mm. Even that rhymes with hospital bed. Mm. I mean, Smash made you all that dope. You slipped up and lost your flow. You took it spin he did a reenactment with Melly Mel and how the Don does his first round and continues beyond where he ended up getting cut off. In this, he talks about legends choking, he calls out other battle rappers, and he also talks about Loaded Lux's age. If you guys get a chance, I would really watch it just because it's kind of cool to see what he had planned and what he didn't get the chance to do. Another thing that people don't know about Hall of the Don vs. Loaded Lux is that UW High Stakes, which was the event that it took place on, was trending on Twitter. Before the event happened, Arsenal stated that if High Stakes was trending in the United States, that he would put out a battle in 48 hours. So after 4,000 tweets with the hashtag UW High Stakes, it became trending in the United States. And very impressively, it was trending, even with the Grammys, the Australian Open, and WWE Royal Rumble 7 happening on the same day. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure, I believe that this is the first trending battle rap event ever. And for good reason. It had a stack card, and it had Loaded Lux vs. Hall of the Don as the main event. Another thing I found really interesting, and this is not a fact at all, this is just really a compilation of uh, people's ideas, but overall... The battle rap community had Hollow the Don really taken this battle. Right when the battle happened in 2014, I compiled a list online of all the different battle rappers and battle rap figures and we you know what their opinions were on who won that. And well, here are the names that had Loaded Lux winning, and here are the names that had Hollow the Don winning. You'll notice that Loaded Lux has a lot of Harlem on its side. Meanwhile, you'll notice that obviously, Hollow the Don has more people who thought that he won the battle. 
I will say that with Hollow the Don being more active in battle rap, he probably has better relationships with people, so I think that definitely benefits him, but it is telling when this many more people have him winning the battle. And for the last four, I have things that were said in the battle that really don't make any sense, and I want to give you context for them. So at the end of Loaded Lux's first round, Lux says, I'm on him! Yeah, 12 told me get on that track and exploit him! I was running around the battle scene looking for freezer storage. Yeah, I called you out. Keep ignoring. That's why you ain't even see this coming, acting like you ain't seen me calling, nigga. Yeah, I called you out. Keep ignoring. That's why you haven't seen this coming, the way you ain't seen me calling. Obviously, this is a play on words, and uh, Loaded Lux says that he called Hollow out and Hollow ignored, a play on words in reference to modern cell phones. But this also has another meaning. Hollow actually did a song with Lux's half brother called Ain't See Me Coming. So that's what that was in reference to. Next, we have Hollow says, Look at me, King! <laughs> you see that large picture? Something that I got, King. He says that in his first round. He says, You see that large picture? Something that I got, King. And you assume that he's talking metaphorically, but actually he had a large picture that was on stage with him, but there wasn't enough room to really show it on camera or really, you know, utilize it the way that he wanted to. Next up, we have when Lux says, You don't even help out with that rent up in the Bronx. That's you LOM niggas living off of moms. <laughs> you don't even help out with that rent up in the Bronx. That's you LOM <laughs> living off of moms. Now, you could just think that maybe that's a fake personal or it's not based on anything. But what this is actually in reference to is that Hollow had a music video called Loyalty Over Money. And that's more work and new charge hurts. I know I just rhyme the same rhyme scheme, but it's all real, so listen what the rhyme means. It tear me down for five years. In this video, he's clearly in the Bronx, and he rips an eviction notice off of his door. And lastly, we have when Lux says, I'll never forget that night when I see you on 174th Street and Vice. It was that guns video shoot, you had that cup in your hand, and you was nice. And I asked to battle you. And out of all the avenues we could have been on, it was vice. Wow. The brain disease you can't seem to knock out. And ironically, I thought I never blocked out. That was God with me when you said follow me into that pharmacy. You get the picture? The good pharmacies what needs to be cropped out, nigga. I'll never forget that night I seen you on 174th and Vice. And he talks about a pharmacy. He talks about some other things. Now, if you're listening to this, you might not have any idea of what Lux is talking about. But here's the story. Lux and Hollow were both at Corey Gunn's video shoot. It was for the song YMCMB MMG with Meek Mill. And this was one of the first times that Hollow and Lux had met. And the story goes that Hollow went to the pharmacy to get lean. If you actually watch the video, you can see Lux in the video. Hollow did not appear in the video though. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. If you are interested in battle rap history, I got tons of other battle rap history based videos. Uh, click one of these. They're all very interesting, at least to me. So check it out. Let's go, sprinkles on your face. Stop acting like a bad guy. That Mag 5 will put him in the earth like a bad vibe. That Mag 5 will put him in the earth like a bad vibe. Bring him back, point break range and knock the brains out of him. Then reload with the bullets that came. Then, then, then reload with the bullets that came.